is a vessel filled with liquid, three parts of which are water and five parts are syrup. How much of the mixture must be drawn off and replaced with water so that the mixture may be half water and half syrup? Right? So basically, initially we have some mixture which is uh, you know which has got water and syrup. In what ratio? Water is to syrup. The ratio is 3 is to 5. 3 is to 5. Right? So let us assume that uh, water is 3 parts and syrup is 5 parts. Now he says uh, how much of the mixture must be drawn off? From this, you are removing some mixture and replaced with water. So let's say if you remove, uh, you know, some quantity of mixture here. Let's say we remove Q. We will add Q, quant Q of water. If you remove Q liters of mixture, add Q liters of water, right? So that the mixture may be half water and half syrup, right? It should be half water and half syrup. So after doing that operation, remove Q liters of mixture and add Q liters of water, right? Let us assume this is what we have done. We have removed Q liters of mixture and add Q liters of water. Then what happens? The new mixture, the new mixture will be equal to half water plus half milk. Sorry, half water plus half syrup. Now this is key, right? You know that the final mixture is going to have half water and half syrup. So can we say, see initially it is W and S let us assume, final it is W dash and S dash, right? So can we say, I mean let's say W dash plus S dash, where half is water and half is syrup. So the, the point here is final water W dash is equal to final syrup, half water and half syrup. So their quantities are equal, final quantity of water is equal to final quantity of syrup, W dash is equal to S dash. Now how do you arrive at this uh, 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 value of W is the question. You see, initially, initially how much was water, what was the fraction of water initially? 3 out of 8, right? Initially there was 3 by 8 of water. From which how much did we remove? How much of water did we remove? We have removed Q liters of mixture. When you remove Q liters of mixture, how much of water will come out? 3 by 8 of water will come out, right? So we have subtracted 3 by 8 of Q water. But remember, we have added Q liters of water. So final, final water is equal to initial water minus the water which was removed through the mixture plus the water that got added Q equals to final syrup. How much was initial syrup? Initial syrup was 5 parts, 5 out of 8 parts, 5 by 8. From which how much have we removed? We have removed Q liters of mixture. When you remove Q liters of mixture, how much of syrup will come out? 5 by 8 of Q will come out. Are you getting it? These two are equal. That's it. Find out the value of Q. That's what you have to do. Are you getting me? Initial fraction, this, this in fact is not needed. 3x, 5x is not relevant here, right? Initial fraction of water is 3 by 8. Water is equal to 3 by 8. And milk is equal to 5 by 8. Finally, what happened? Water W dash was equal to half right here half water half syrup means what w dash is half syrup is also half so basically both of them are equal now how do we uh, equate them see initial water was 3 by 8 from which we have removed 3 by 8 of q plus we have added q this plus q is important remember this plus q will not come on the syrup side because we have removed mixture and replaced with water only water was added so if you have removed q liters of mixture q liters of water got added simplify this now what happens so 5 by 8 minus 3 by 8 so Mm, 2 by 8 is equal to uh, 5 by 8 minus 3 by 8, 2 by 8 Q plus Q. So 1 fourth is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1, 5 by 4 Q. So Q is equal to 1 by 5. So basically one fifth of the quantity was removed. One fifth of the quantity was removed which is option 3.